What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new tweak called Olympus. Now with Olympus you're going to get basically an app switcher, a music interface, as well as a control center replacement. So to activate Olympus, it's actually pretty simple. It's the same way that you would activate any app switcher. So if we double press on the home button here, you can see that's going to activate it, or you can actually just swipe up from the bottom and that'll activate it as well. Now that swipe up from the bottom gesture is actually something that's customizable within the settings, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. But what really makes Olympus unique is the ability to switch to a grid view right within the app switcher. So you can see right here we're at our lowest level, but if we pinch our fingers, then we can actually go to a two by two grid. Now, if you wanna take it another step further, then you can go to a three by three with nine applications or even a four by five right there. So you can have 20 applications right there on your app switcher and you can close out of applications just by swiping up on them which sometimes can be a little difficult on the on this view just because for some reason it doesn't respond uh, too well but if we pinch to go back you can see that you can pull down on applications and launch them off if you want to or again just swipe up on an application to close it out now if we swipe over you'll notice that we have our media center. So this is basically gonna have all of our media controls as well as the album artwork right here. And in the background, we actually have the album artwork that's blurred out. Now that album artwork is actually uh, transferable over to the next page, which has all of our toggles. So this is going to be basically our control center minus the media controls, which is right over there. So we have our brightness right down here, we have our airdrop and we have all of our toggles. And then if you have your either your favorites or your recent contacts set up to show up in your app switcher, then they're gonna show up right here. Otherwise, they're not gonna be there. Now, if you're not a huge fan of this dark look, then you can actually swipe over here to the uh, media center, and if we triple tap, then that's actually going to give us a more light uh, color or light background. Now, if we jump over here into the settings, and uh, check out the gesture mode. You can see there's not a ton of stuff here in the settings, but uh, if we tap on the gesture mode, this is basically going to give you three options. So obviously that first one, which is what I showed you here, you can see that you can just swipe up to open up the app switcher, or you can tap on this if you want the original control center here, or down here you can actually close the application. So if we just swipe up, and that's going to close the application. But if we go back, you'll also see that we have the music screen style. This is basically what I was just showing you with the light and dark. Uh, rather than having to go into the settings, you can use that triple tap gesture on the album artwork in order to get those different looks. So I guess at this point, do I recommend it? At a price point of $3.99, I would have to say no. Just because you can see right here, if we swipe up, you can get this exact same view in your app switcher with a tweak called Grid Switcher, which is a free tweak. So if you want a three by three grid, you can use grid switcher. If you want a two by two grid, you can use grid switcher. I mean, really the only thing that this tweak is bringing to the table is cool animations that allows you to switch between the views right here, which really I don't see myself using a whole lot. I mean, if I open up my app switcher and I see that I don't have the application that I wanna to switch to right here, I'll probably just swipe over rather than having to pinch just because sometimes you can actually get caught up trying to switch between views and it can get a little frustrating just because you can't get out of it and the worst one is this view right here so if we're trying to get back you can see that it takes a few times and sometimes it opens up applications other times you can see I mean it's just kind of difficult to get it back to that first view so it's just a little frustrating to get out of that view and if you accidentally go to it then you're stuck there trying to get out of it now also if we come back over here to the the media control center then this is actually pretty cool i like this but this page i mean it doesn't look that good it looks like an afterthought it looks like hey we have to stick some toggles somewhere for the control center just in case somebody wants to access them. There's really no design here that quantifies a $3.99 price tag. But that's just my opinion. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. Do you guys plan on picking this up? And if you do, do you think it's worth that $4 price tag? Let me know in the comments below. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smack that like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right guys, until next time, peace.